All right, hello once again. This is Jeff Scott of Rankin Technical College, and I've been going over a series of videos using the product MobiRise.com, which is from MobiRise, and I've rebuilt our St. Louis Blues Line website, as you can see. All right, and there's a couple more things I wanted to say before I finished up. The first is, okay, the home is fine, but I'm going to go over to the About page and I'm going to click here on link. And under the page anchors, I'm gonna go down to, I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down to this header four six. Eh. Let's see, message box, four one seven. Uh, I'm gonna go down to here, how's that? This form two three. Okay, that's gonna be the about, and for the contact, I'm going to again click link and I'm going to go down to that form that's on the bottom right here. So why did I do that? Well, notice now when I click about, well, I gotta run it, I guess. Now notice when I click about how it seamlessly moves. I guess I didn't do the home, so I should do that. So let's go back and for home, let's click on there, link, and we'll just have it go to the top. Now these are internal links, so I'm not linking to another page. All right, so let's insert the link. Let's run this again. Now contact, boom, about home, all right? So it's, as you can see, it's a way for me to very quickly move and iterate my way through this. Now, I don't have to do this, but I'm gonna click here on contact. In fact, let me stop the run. Let me go back and let me click um, go back to Mobirize here. And let me click on contact right there. And I'm going to click where it says add and I'm gonna add a new one, all right, which should be right here. I don't like that verbiage, so I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna just put in here shop. You'll understand why in just a second, okay? And I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna leave it like it is. Now I'm gonna come over to here, and I'm gonna to go to pages, and I'm gonna to go to create new page, and I'm gonna put here, shop.html okay so that's in there all right so i now have two pages i've got my home page and a page called shop all right this shop page when you look at it it doesn't have very much stuff in it sorry all right again so what i want to do here is there's my my next page and you'll notice it doesn't have much stuff on it just got the header and it's just got the footer but it is the shop.html, all right? So now what I wanna do is I wanna go back to my index page and when I click on shop here, I wanna click on link and now I want it to go to a different page to shop.html and I'm going to insert my link. So now when I run this, there's my site, but notice when I click shop, I go over to my other page. Now home and about and contact, I guess they do move. Okay, great. So it is a way that I can quickly iterate my way through a site, all right? Now again, the, the only other thing that I want to mention to you, and let me close this, is that right now, I am kind of, I'm trying to think of the right word for this, but I wanna show you something here. How about this? Let's go to, um, sites, create new site or import. I wanna come up here 
and I'm going to click publish to local and I want to publish it to the local drive. So I'm going to come up onto my desktop and this is the way that it was recommended in their videos. So on my desktop I'm going to create a new folder that's called S-T-L-O-U-I-S Blues St. Louis Blues Line. Okay? So that, that's what I'm going to put there. And the local driver folder will be right here. All right? So I'm going to click Publish. And it's doing its thing. So what did it do? Let's take a look and see what it did here. I should have a new folder here. St. Louis Blues Line. There it is. I open it up. And let's look at what's in here. All right, this was all the stuff that was generated for me. What I want to show you is this is all bootstrap compliant. All right, and MBR is Mobi Rise. All right, so most of their stuff starts with MBR. What else is in there? Well, here's my shop, which is going to be much smaller because, remember, there's almost nothing in it. All right. Here's my project file. So if I'm going to import that in or send that to somebody else, that file becomes very important. Here is what's called the assets file. And anything that I put in there, for example, there's images. Those should look familiar to you. Those were the images that I put in. All right, I'm not sure what that hashes.json is. I can try to open that up. Okay. It's got some stuff in there with addresses or something. I don't know. But the different parts of my project automatically got built like this for me. You'll notice there's a Bootstrap folder. And there's Bootstrap min CSS. There's a fonts folder where it brought in some fonts. There's the JavaScript folder where it brought in Bootstrap Min JS. So this product works along with this product works along with Bootstrap. It uses Bootstrap. Now, literally, I loaded this product yesterday onto my machine. All right, literally, I've loaded it yesterday. What I just showed you, the very, very simplistic site that we just built, this one right here, all right? This is the second site I built. My first one just had in the header, it had the footer, and I added the slideshow. That's all it had. So I am not at all well-versed in this. Okay, but I want you to understand something, and that is if you go and add the code editor. So I'm going to click here. All right, now I'm going to click the edit code. This is the first time I've ever brought this up, so it may take a second to load. I don't know. All right, so it says here click to unlock the code editor. If I click that and I say yes, what that does is it, it literally, I'm just going to close, it breaks. I won't have the block parameters anymore. I won't be able to get to this. This stuff is all predetermined. But as soon as I come in and add my own stuff, I break that block. So the recommendation from MobiRise is to get every section looking as close to complete as you want it to look then go in and highlight your individual sections, click your edit code if you bought the code editor, and make your changes. Now, I hope saying all that, I hope that made some sense to you. All right? So, again, here's my site, and there it is. In fact, I should be able to preview this in the, in the browser, rather. All right. And 
notice if I do cut it way down, again, it is a responsive sight. And you say, well, it's not perfect. Yeah, but I could go in and change anything I wanted to change. There it is in more of a, of a mode for a um, mobile tablet. And again, here is how it will look on the desktop. So what I tried to show you in this series of videos is how we could go in, create our header, which we typically refer to as our nav bar, where we change the logo and put in our own logo, put in our own text, change the font, change the background color, and added, by default, you get a home and about and a contact link, but I added another link to show you that. We did similar things down here with our footer. Then we came in and just added basically a section in here where we added some text. Then we added a slideshow. Then we added a subscribe to our newsletter. All right. JP Scott at Rankin.edu. Subscribe. Thanks for filling out the form. Okay. I don't know if that's going to give me a message or not. Then we came in and added a video clip. And you saw that it did play. It also has full functionality. Or I could just grab it out of YouTube, in which case it'll open and it'll open in a new folder. All right. Then I just added, and I don't know why I put this in, but I added yet another header. Then I came in and added a contact form. And remember, the contact form is minimalistic. So by default, this is what you get. To my knowledge, if you want to, you can, you can remove any of these fields, but you can't add additional ones without the code editor. To my knowledge. All right. And then again, we came in and we added the footer. The only other thing that I want to show you, I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to Moby Rise, and I'm going to try something, and I'm going to leave you with this. That is, I'm going to click here, pipe sign. I'm going to put in home, pipe sign. I'm going to put in about. Pipe sign, I'm going to put in contact, pipe sign, and I'm going to put in shop. All right. Now, I don't know if I highlight all these, if I'm able to do this or not, but let's bold that. All right. So let's click on the bold right there, and let's click on more. I thought I was able to add links here. I could be wrong. All right, I'll have to double check on that. But ideally, you got something out of this. Again, the product is at mobirise.com. All right, that'll conclude these lectures. So there are now approximately 120 lectures that we have for the AWD 1000 class before the class even begins. Hope you enjoyed it.